Welcome back to Train Simulator 2019. Today you join me in another race. Today we've got the Flying Scotsman and his brother, Gordon. You guys have been asking me for a long time to do Flying Scotsman versus Gordon, because last time we did Henry versus the Black Five. I'm afraid Henry did lose quite badly, so I think Gordon is going to be totally annihilated by the Flying Scotsman. It is actually the Flying Scotsman with the smoke deflectors and the two tenders. Who does not like that? But I am absolutely excited to get this race underway because I know the Flying Scotsman is going to win easy. I just did this because you guys know that Gordon's going to lose, but, you know, he did lose in the great race. And Gordon's going to lose in this race. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, I know, you know, this is going to be a waste of your guys' time, probably the waste of my time. But the thing is that you guys have asked me to do this, and because I love you all so much, I decided to do it. So here is this race for you guys today. I hope you enjoy this amazing, very, very pointless and very fun Thomas and friends race, Gordon flying Scotsman mainland real life thingy race. Oh, I feel so stupid now. That should have been that should have gone much better than I planned in my head. It was going well, but then it just then um, words to spew out of my mouth, and I just tend to lose it. So I don't actually sound as amazing as all these other YouTubers do. And look, I'm blabbering along right now. Look, I can't even speak properly. Listen to me. So we're gonna be oh, start again. So we're going to be programming both these engines to do 125% power. So let's go to World Edit. Uh, let's click this little button up here and get... I need to make a video of how to actually make races. Because some of you have been saying, how do you actually do... How, or how do you make your own race? So I actually need to sort of make a tutorial video of how to do that. But anyway, let's get into the programming. So Flying Scotsman's M engine... I can't speak today. Flying Scotsman's engine number two. And she's on platform one. Uh, let's have Flying Scotsman on platform one. And let's give her 125% uh, power. Marvellous. And Gordon, which is engine number one. Should be engine number four, but never mind. And he is on platform do, 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 number two. Um, hold on. If sh sh shouldn't the flying scotsman be a she instead of a he? So I think I said I think I said she, but in the CGI uh, Thomas and Friends uh, series, flying scotsman is a boy. Shouldn't it be a girl? I'm really confused right now. But let's have Gordon to have. I tell you what. Because Henry lost badly last time, I'm going to give Gordon 160% uh, power, make things more fun. But if Gordon wins this race, then you guys can absolutely roast me in the comment section below. But I thought, you know, because Henry did appallingly uh, when it was raised in the back five, I think uh, we should make it a little bit more, well, more unfair for Flying Scotsman. If you guys have any complaints about this, leave your complaints in the comment section below. But, you know, try not to give me too much hate. So I'm ready for this race. Let's click play and see who will win in today's race. And Gordon is underway. There you go. Fl uh, Flying Scotsman has got its brand new sound pack, mind you. So Gordon has got the lead. Thank you, Gordon. And the Flying Scotsman has fallen behind quite badly. But I'm I'm properly certain. Ugh, properly. I don't like the sound of that. I am 100% certain that Flying Scotsman has got this in the bag. So even though like, she's fallen behind a bit... But she, she, he or she, I, don't, I still don't know what to call her or him. He or she. I'm going to call her she. Some of you might think I'm nuts because some of you actually think that it's, an actual, it's, it's not a he or she, it's an it. I like to think it's a she. Uh, you know what, I'm, I'm keeping a she. Oh, I forgot to use the superclass 47. Oh, well. Well, this is better, I guess, because, you know, it makes, makes my life easier. So I can just go wee and just fly like Superman and just see how Gordon's doing. And then fly all the way back. And see how Scotsman's doing. There you go, Scotsman. Scotsman's working really well. I do love that new sound pack that I just added. So I don't know if you can actually see, but uh, Gordon has got quite a bit of a lead. Uh, good on Gordon. Um, but... It's not going to last long, I'm afraid. I mean, Flying Scotsman is actually catching up and catching up fast. So watch out, Gordon, because the Flying Scotsman is coming through. Some of you might think this race is actually unfair. And, yeah, you know, I, I agree. This race is actually unfair because Gordon is actually on 160% power rather than 125, the same as Scotsman. So Gordon's got more power, but I'm still certain Scotsman's going to win. And if she does... We have we have to conclude her as the best team engine in the world. Scotsman's pretty in an LNER livery, isn't it? Especially with that number four four seven two, and I do love that second tender. It just 
It works. Ah, she is catching up. Gordon is slightly a little bit slower, but Flying Scotsman is catching up. Oh, I'm really excited. I love the I love doing these races. I really do, and I love that you guys give me these ideas. And what I do actually is these are your ideas, my friends. These are your ideas, and what I do is I just take your ideas and I make your imagination a reality. So. I'm glad to be a bit of a service. A bit of a service. I'm not 100% a service, but I'm glad to be a bit of a service. A bit. He still has the lead. Flying Scotsman's fallen behind. But, you know, she his, she's going to do it. I, I, I honestly think Scotsman's definitely going to do this because she is actually slowly catching up. Oh, you can just see Gordon's tender. <laughs> and we've entered the curve right now. Oh, we're actually on the curve. Oh, brilliant. Oh, what a I want to get, like, a really uh, cool shot, actually. Um... Oh, yes! Oh, I should have had that as the thumbnail. That would look absolutely amazing. But even though Gordon does have the inner line, the Flying Scotsman has annihilated uh, Gordon, and there he is falling behind. But he's still got that big smile on his face. Because he just... I think he knows that he, he did well, but Flying Scotsman's just better. So Scotsman is on her way to the end of the line. Good luck, Gordon. I'll see you at the finish line, buddy. So at the end of the line, this race belongs to Scotsman herself. I think she deserves it. I mean, she does look fantastic. She's a really good looking steam engine. I mean, you can't deny it. So the race is hers. And where is Gordon? Gordon? Uh, oh, there he is. Oh, he's not that far behind, actually. He's catching up. It was still a good race, though, I think. We, ha we had a lot of fun. Well, I did. But I'm really glad of Scotsman. I knew Scotsman was going to win this. And she won fair and square. So there we go. Look at that. Ooh, squeaky brakes, and Scotsman's won this. And there, here comes Gordon. Still's got a big smile on his face, so he's happy. And Gordon is stone dead last, but he's, he's still smiling amazingly. And there we have it. For for, uh, for a long time, you guys have asked me to do this race. Uh, Flying Scotsman versus Gordon. We all knew the Scotsman was going to win. But I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this incredible race. Uh, thank you again so much for watching. And thank you all so much for suggesting it. And I'll see you guys again next week in another Train Simulator uh, race. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Or maybe I should do another Hornby test. Because I actually did enjoy doing those funny little Hornby uh, setup things. But until then, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys again soon. So take care. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.